goddamn wings off okay welcome back to the channel everybody <laughs> nikki and john's podcast uh we are doing scrooge scrooge 1988 bill murray karen allen alfrey woodard bobcat goldthwaite and carol kane it's a typical christmas carol storyline but it's like updated and it has those little zingers from bill murray oh my god it makes yeah, the movie like, incredible a movie I didn't watch since I was probably six years old. Didn't get the movie then. Didn't understand it. Like, I guess I understood it, but I didn't get the references to the jokes and this and that. Now, rewatching it <laughs> 30 some odd years later. Yeah, I totally get it now. Um, wow. This movie is brilliant. <laughs> and I love, I will say this, like when my kids laugh at a movie, which they did with this one. You know that's good writing. That is a solid film. Like, it can't really miss unless you just don't like the actors or whatever, you know. I found that even the opening threw me off. I was like, shit, did I click on the wrong movie? Right, yeah. <laughs> and then, it, then, it, then I'm like, oh no, that's part of the movie. Okay, 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 I get it now. Right. I was like, Sweet oh answers. shoot, right. <laughs> but then, then it gets into it. I'm like, oh yeah, he's a broadcaster, right? Like he's he's the head of this TV company, right? Christmas Eve on IBC. You love it. Okay, so all right, and I kind of after about a minute when they went into like Santa Claus going in with with like basically Arnold Schwarzenegger. Band. or whatever they're equivalent to arnold uh made me think i'm like oh yeah right this movie is based on a guy who works for a tv company oh my gosh does that suck right uh, I see. i'm like so i instantly i was like oh no this is this is tying into it okay okay this is this is what it is his his look on what the promo for scrooge should be Oh, God. Was so far off the mark. It's so absolutely ridiculous. But that's what they did back then. Like in that <laughs> time frame when the movie was made, those are the kind of ads you saw sometimes. Like the guy says to him, he goes, well, it kind of has nothing to do with, with the show. And he goes, yeah, but it scares people into wanting to watch it. They I'm like, so afraid to miss it. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that's like what they did back then. The youngest CEO in TV, I know what they want. And Bill Murray plays it so good. I I have to admit, I didn't really watch this movie in, in its entirety and understood it till a month ago. I've always seen it on as a kid. You know, maybe my maybe parents too. watched it or something, but I never really, I always remember that iconic scene with Carol Kane. Like, that yeah. th that was like their selling point. Then I'll rip that your wings point. off. If you touch me again, I'm going to rip your goddamn wings off. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. It was so funny because I love, she's such a sweetie. Like, <laughs> I can't right. love her in all the movies she's in, but I absolutely love her when she's the pregnant mom and licensed to drive. I'm out of here. Hey, buddy. Down. Oh, that's going back. Uh, okay, well, anyway, she's in it and I she's pregnant know. and she's super cute. I don't know. I just love her. But she just does nothing but kick the shit out of Bill Murray. It is so 
Oh, she punches him like every second. Even after he says, I'll rip your wings off, she keeps like, on hitting him. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I like, like the rough stuff. <laughs> when he's in the restaurant and he starts freaking out, oh my he, God. like, he can't tell what's real, what's fake. And I mean, he looks over and sees the, the, the bus boy or the waiter or whatever uh, on fire. Oh, no, that's a baked Alaska, sir. That's, no, that's a dessert. You wouldn't want that, sir. Ah! Oh, ah! oh, no, 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 sir. That gen- but then when it, like, snaps back to reality, he's not on fire. Yeah. And then it snaps back to his point of view and shows him, like, fully engulfed in flames, and then he throws the bucket of water at him. <laughs> and then taps him on the shoulder and says something and then walks past him. I'm sorry. You know, I thought you were Richard Pryor. He's like, I thought you were like, Richard Pryor. I don't know what that right, meant, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's joke. right. It, I don't know if it's a joke. I don't get it. I don't know. But well, uh, I don't know why he thinks it's Richard Pryor, because, like, not to be, you know, we're, I don't like to get into, like, races, but Richard Pryor is black. No, I know that, uh, but I don't understand why. I don't that understand guy was joke. white, so I don't understand the joke. I uh, I think we'd have to ask Bill Murray why that was thrown in there. Was that ad libbed or was that written in the script? You know, wasn't in the script. That fall that he did at that scene. That wasn't in the script, but they kept it. Oh, it was like a blooper. I but love it when they keep it. bloopers like that. That fall is so fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> because like it's, it's a fall. natural it's a natural thing it's not faked and that's what i love when they keep bloopers like that stuff like that that's i mean oh, i think God. that's when i saw that i was like no fucking way that is too <laughs> funny I was like, Murray's so good. i mean even when he's trying to overact or underact you gotta love him i mean i just like all the things like they're just kind of like what, what? i don't know <laughs> What he was trying to do with that scene where he's like pouring, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a sick door, knock at the door, and he's like, Come! Hammer! <laughs> and then I, like, he's like, okay, I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just thought it was funny. And it's little things like that, and then it's like, um, when the guy's poking him in the chest, he's like, ow. In fact, the whole rest of the week is a washout. Ow. <laughs> so I love his, like, his dry cut humor. I, I mean, he does this in a lot of movies, which, is, I mean, yeah. that's his thing. And I get right. it. But he, I feel like he does it, a, to me, does it, a, like, because, I mean, I was a big fan of Ghostbusters. He does it in that movie. But n- this movie where he's the main character and main focus you get to see a lot more of it opposed right. to having other characters being the main characters as well. Right. Yeah. So you get to see a lot more of that. I mean, in Groundhog Day, I mean, you got to see that, but that's a different style altogether. That's a different story altogether. Right. I felt like that was, you know, cause that was back in, you know, later on in the nineties, his humor changed. It was the same, but it was like his delivery seemed a little different. Um, and this one, I I almost like right from the get go, I was like, man, I do not like your character. I hate you. You're an asshole. But I mean, that's what they're going for. That's what they want because he's screwed. You to, yeah, you have to break in. Right? It's like same thing with uh, George Carlin, Andrew Dice Clay. They're all oddballs and they don't do the typical jokes. They, they, they take it. They make it their own and they really put their ideas into it. Trying not to offend, but not really giving a shit, but it's the way it's laid out. It's kind of like, right. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's awesome, and I fucking love it, because there's no filter. Yeah, that exactly. There is no filter. And, like, especially, when, <laughs> I mean, that line when he says, <laughs> I'm going to rip your wings off, okay? Okay. But then, then she proceeds to still beat the crap out of him. Yeah. And he doesn't rip her wings off, which I think is really funny because here he says it in such a, like, masculine manner, but then gets his ass handed to him. And he's just like, uh, he just kind of, like, takes it and he knows, like, uh, I can't rip your wings off, probably. <laughs> and 
<clears throat> John, hold on one second. Somebody's at my door. Hold on. That's a good thing about recording. Was edit it out. Well, tell me what's uh, up. Well, I'm in this relationship. I know you'll watch this later, so. Humming on, humming on, humming on. I like her, but we're not really connecting. How long's it been? About 10 months. And how often do you see each other? A couple You're times a week. It. Well, why don't you try seeing each other a little more often and see if you connect a little more? <laughs> and if not, it may be time to move on. You're going to watch this later. You're going to be like, This is Han Solo, and I'm going to be keeping you company Ooh. for the next few hours right here on the Midnight Shift. Yes. It's going to be weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. It's telling me it might be. I'm just being, I'm just killing time. Is that hair still like flowing? It is, look at it. Ah. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. It really is just the Christmas Carol with everything, like a bunch of craziness thrown in there. Well, yeah, and, <laughs> and I mean, like you expect, okay, right from the get-go, you already expect, okay, you know, the Christmas, uh, the the ghosts of Christmas past, the the present and the future. You know, you expect all the ghosts. Uh, we just don't know how he's going to get there. And I loved how they did it, where like it would snap him back to reality, but he'd be around people like in the studio filming, and then as if he had been there the whole time, and no one recognizes that he just showed up make him on autopilot while he was off doing that the part i absolutely love in that movie well but i love a lot of it but the one that really fucking kills me <laughs> it's the one where the lady who gets her ass kicked by like every object oh, watch out ah! thanks boys get the nurse and the <laughs> set and he goes but but wait but wait the lady's like, you can see her nipple. He's like, well, I want to see her nipple. I'm sorry, Mr. Cross. I am the censor, and I will not allow this costume on the air. Why not? Well, specifically, you can see her nipples. I want to see her nipples. But this is a Christmas show. Well, Charles Dickens would have wanted to see her nipples then. The guys, the crew guys chime in. You can, uh, you can hardly see them nipples. See, and these guys are really looking. <laughs> <laughs> You can't really see her nipple. These and these guys are really looking. <laughs> that killed me. Oh. He says, "Pick her up," and they pick her up and just like throw her around. And then right. when it does the flashback to when he gets hurt when he meets his the the girl that he is in love with. Oh God, are you all right? Oh, you know, you, you probably should. He says himself to her, he goes, Oh, it's not safe to pick up someone pick up someone who got hit in the head really hard. Which is like the exact opposite of what he just told the people that he watched this girl get hit in the head. Uh, <laughs> which just shows like how much more of an asshole he became over time, right? But like that one part where they're opening gifts, he's like, I never liked a girl enough to give her clothes. I've never liked a girl enough to give her clothes. Oh, I died. I was like, oh, oh no. my god! I'm just the way he says it, like just. It's like you're just like asking, can you please stab me with these twelve knives? Uh, like the ending was basically exactly what I expected. I mean, for a screwed style movie, um, I thought it was kind of funny though when Buddy was trying to shoot him with the gun. Um, and he was going into his happy mode, and he's like kissing him. The gun was still like aimed at his head. Hey, you glad to see me, or is this a shotgun in your pocket? And if you notice, he moves it out of the way, and it still shoots. And no one's concerned about the fact that the gun still goes off, and then he's giving him a kiss. I'm like, I'm watching, and I'm thinking, dude, do you know how close that was to taking your head off? He wouldn't even care at that moment. He probably that, didn't even notice it. Like, he was just so in the moment, nothing around him like mattered. The gunshot is—it's so—it's so eighties so and stuff. <laughs> that was the only time I really noticed the sound or something being like quite. It is not a—it's not a not a kids' Christmas movie per se. It's a crock, James. Uh, no, but it's—it's it's definitely it's like, well, a adolescent uh, to. to, to 
early teen to late teen to adult style, you know, like. Uh, it's definitely a break from all of the commercial and same Christmas. It's like, we found joy and love again in our family. Yeah. It's a go away. Go away. Go away. It, go away. You know, <laughs> it's not it's not a fluff movie. No, no. And right. it's not like a heartwarming drama. Like, no. This and is it's not a, a horror movie either. It's kind of. Well, I mean, some scenes are yeah. a little. Horror-esque, but they're not really so much scary as you're, you're trying to, like, sit down and see what how he feels about seeing it to you. It's not scary, but to him it is because in, if you were in his body and his mind state, that's creepy stuff happening to him. It's pure entertainment in my mind. Like, Oh, I, I, if you are feeling crappy around the holidays, this one will definitely give you at least a chuckle. <laughs> like at least. <laughs> yeah. My gosh, it's it's so funny. Would you hold the goddamn hammering, please? Yeah, and I just I, I love his just. It's a Chinese food. Oh wow, no, you're not supposed to eat that stuff. They found out to cook up the alley cats and using the chop suey. It's a real bummer. Bluntness and it just it, it just comes out. Well, I am happy with the path that I've chosen, you little bitch. In fact, I couldn't be happier. Oh, it just makes the whole thing so much funnier. Would you please? For the love of God and your own body, hold the hammering. <laughs> like the mannerisms that he does, especially when he's like, when he's at the dinner table. <laughs> and he sees the eyeball in the, in the, the glass, the, the, you know, the drink that he ordered. And yeah. he starts like, ah, 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 and he's looking at them and they're like, he's looking at the, like the guy who served it to him. And they're all kind of looking at him like, what? But yet. It's not really there. And he's like, I'm just going to take this drink from you. I just, I loved his, like, I felt like it was a little bit of overacting, but I think it was, it was, it was done right for that style of scene. Like, sometimes people will say, oh, that was, that was over the top, but sometimes over the top is needed. And I felt like that was, that was a spot where it was done well, you know? Where do you feel that it was over the top? Uh, well, maybe not so much in this movie, but other movies, like, there's certain scenes in other movies. Like, oh, 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 oh. Because I was curious, I'm like, well, yes, Bill Murray is, is different. He definitely has a different comedic style. Yeah. And it, <laughs> I, I think, like, his way of maybe people would see as overacting is him making fun or just not giving shit. It's like, whatever. Like, it's like making a, a voice or something. You know, it's like, it's like his take on that. So That's I think right. that... It, I mean, I, I feel that that's how he would... I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I'm not him. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and, and, and this movie is a perfect prime example of how Bill Murray's acting is. He's so goofy. And like like I like I said, I like people that just cut right to the chase. There's no fluff to, you know, work yeah. around. Adored by women. Ah, adored. Let's be honest, Lou. You paid for the women. <laughs> yeah, it's just... I, boom. Thank you. I don't have to use my brain cells. It's... Boom, boom, boom. There. Now, I have to kill all of you. <laughs> like that moment when he grabs, he goes, what's this on the wall? And the girl's like, oh, that's my, my son's picture. He goes, how many fingers does Santa have? And she's like, <laughs> 11. And he goes, wrong, blah, blah, blah. Rips it off the wall and says, not on the, and throws it down. I'm it's like. Crap. It's crap, Grace. <laughs> that really how much of an arsehole he is, but. They had to establish that at the beginning of the movie to give you a good idea of what this guy's I like. Dick he is, yeah. That was the epitome of being the cruelest person ever. Uh, my son drew this for me in my office, and you ripped it off the wall and threw it down. Yeah. You start talking, then go to law school and sue his butt off. I thought I'd been like, fuck you, fuck all your bullshit, do everything yourself, you dumb prick. Good right. And then, and then when he goes, oh, and your bonus is a towel. Oh, and give yourself a face cloth. I would have went like this, dropped everything, went like, bye. You know what out. I would have did? I would have gotten both, and I would have pissed on one and shit on the other one, and take the big one, whatever it's piss or shit, and then like wrap it up, put a fucking bow on, and that I'm gonna send it to his goddamn office. 
<laughs> if I'm being a, a slave to your work status and I still get shit on, oh, well, you're going to get right back now, aren't you? Well, we slapped her in the face and got her attention. Right. Oh. It's a great holiday movie, I think. I think yeah. more should remember about it and watch that movie. Uh, that not, was a classic, just like Christmas I Vacation. Think, but, it's not much like the 80s, yeah, like like Christmas Vacation, National Lampoons. I mean, those classics will always be classics, and they're classics for a reason, right? Right, right. Um, they're still they good still, to this day. You still get a laugh out of them. Yeah. They're thrown away, and peop- I, I think more people should be watching those and, and remembering about those movies. That's what we're here for. That's why we do what we do, exactly. <laughs> yes, next episode, Black Christmas. Um, I think we should have a contest because I did it on TikTok. I just took the, because my favorite scene from Scrooge is when he's like, I'm going to rip your goddamn wings off. Okay. But I would like to see people do, people do the best impression they can do. Oh, that'd be good. Right? Please. And say, and we'll have a vote. Let's get yeah. this. Like, oh my God, let's make this so fun. <laughs> And then whoever wins, I don't know. What are we going to do? They could be a guest on the show. Awesome. I love that. And we could talk about whatever movie they would like. <laughs> and they, yeah, they get to choose the movie and they get to be a guest. Yes. But it, ha- it can't be like some weirdo movie. It has to be like, you know, within our guidelines. <laughs> and we'll, we'll allow the, the, the contest to go for what, maybe two weeks? You want to do a little bit after Christmas because I'm sure people will be busy and everything with the holiday. So we'll do January we'll, we'll, 1st? January 1st. Sounds good. Or January 2nd. Everyone gets lit for New Year's and do their best right. Scrooge. Yeah, yeah. So January 2nd, <laughs> we'll, please, guys, throw it to us. Throw us your, your best impression. We will pick the best. And Yes, I'm so excited. I'm oh, my God. Go. Got it. I have it. It's like, I just love it so much. <laughs> So please give us your best impression of Bill Murray <laughs> ripping off some wings. No, and, just do, just reenact it the best way you can. Don't, don't get violent. Yeah. Don't get ridiculous. Just, yeah, just you know, stay within it. Do the line. You can dress up. You, you don't even have to dress up. Just do the line as best you can. Show us. I'm sure everybody now has TikTok. I'll put my TikTok in here. Here I is the stars. If you touch me again. I'm going to rip your goddamn wings off, okay? So you can, like, stitch me? Because I did that. I did, like, the voice effects, so. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Woo! Thanks for coming to the channel, guys. Please like, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>